I'm making a video talking about torque wrenches. Um, I have a real strong opinion on these. I, I use them all day long, all the time, whenever I have a wheel off a car or um, engine repairs or anything else. I, I torque axle nuts and everything all day long. I use this thing a hundred times a day. Well, um, probably maybe eight, nine years ago, a mechanic I was working with at the time um, bought a torque wrench off the Snap-on truck and I, I borrowed it from a few times and really, really liked it. It was a beam style. It wasn't the kind where you, you know, screw in the handle to set the torque and then you have to unscrew it every time you use it. This is a beam style, so you just adjust the torque for what you want it and um, you can leave it like that. It doesn't damage the torque wrench itself. So um, I, I looked at, you know, looked online and figured out who manufactured this thing for Snap-on because Snap-on didn't make it themselves and ended up being Precision Instruments. So I went online and just bought one from Precision Instruments. It's the exact same thing. It's identical and um, it costs less than half the cost. The Snap-on one was $470, I think, at the time. Um, you know, somewhere, it was over $400. And um, this one was around $200, or actually a little bit less at that time. Now I think it's around $200, but it's made in America, super high quality. I use the thing 100 times a day for the last eight years and it hasn't done anything. I mean, it works perfect. It feels perfect. It doesn't skip a tooth. Nothing weird happens, this thing. And it feels, it, it feels great. I really like it a lot. I have a strong opinion about this thing. I would recommend it to anybody, and I do. <laughs> and I bought the 3 8 drive one as well, and the quarter inch drive. I bought all of them from this same manufacturer. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you the torque wrench, and um, I'm gonna show you what I like about it. And I'm not gonna do any kind of weird torture test stuff. I don't really have the equipment here. I'm not gonna show you how much torque it can take before it explodes or anything really, you know, fun to watch. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, yeah, so. I'll show Excuse my disaster of a toolbox here. I um, kind of throw everything in here. I know where it's at. I guess that's the important thing. But um, yeah, so here's my torque wrenches. This is 3 8 drive. This one's a half inch drive. Precision Instruments is the brand, as I was already saying. But uh, but yeah, here it is. Um, very easy to use. It's got a little bit of a flex head to it. So does the 3 8 drive. And um, that's really helpful, especially if you're just torquing wheels. Sometimes, depending on the offset of the wheel, it's nice to get a little bit of uh, distance from your wheel and not have to use an extension. You know, all that stuff, you kind of lose a little bit of accuracy with it. And um, yeah, so how it works is you just swing this lever down. You spin this to the torque that you want. You can see this thing is pretty beat up. Let's say 100 foot-pounds. Swing this over so that it doesn't get bumped. And then there you go. You torque it. It uh, has a little conversion table here. It's not great, but it's, uh, you know, it shows you foot pounds to Newton meters and you can look up online any conversion that you need. But, um, but yeah, it's excellent tool. I can guarantee that this will treat you right. You know, you're not going to damage this, especially if you're doing this, you know, at home and this is your hobby auto repair there, this will last you your life. There's no way you will use this enough to damage it unless it's somehow really radically abused, you know, but, um, but under normal conditions, this, this thing will be good for the life of, you know, for your life. <laughs> it's a great tool. And um, uh, I like it a lot. I, uh, the 3A drive is the same kind of thing. It looks identical. It's obviously just smaller. It doesn't have the rubber grip on this one. I think you can probably get it with the rubber grip. I'll um, put, you know, in the description, I'll, I'll, if I can find links, I'll attach them. But uh, yeah, same kind of thing. It gets much less use. This I use more for engine repair and stuff like that. You know, most suspension and stuff like that um, stuff gets gets the uh, half inch. But um, this one, the scale, you can see the scale right here. Flip it over the same way. You can wind it all the way up to 60 foot pounds. Or I'm sorry, 50 foot pounds. And um, yeah, so excellent tool. I've had this one for less time. I've had this one for maybe I don't know, five years something like that and before that i had one from snap-on or maco or something like that but uh but yeah so highly recommend them great tool i'll put it in the description thanks for watching